Hope everybody's having a fabulous Friday and it's gonna have a magnificent weekend. I'm so excited to see family and friends. A whole bunch of fun things are happening. My aunt's turning 88, we're having a birthday party for her. I get to go to a bridal shower of a dear girlfriend, one of the original, uh, one of the OGs from uh, the Soma Life Sanctuary. Dear friend of mine, Diane is getting married and this is her bridal shower weekend. I'm gonna get my Karuna Reiki, um, Reiki Master license this weekend as well. And uh, just get to see a whole bunch of friends. So it'll be a really fun weekend. I'm a bit of a social butterfly. <laughs> anyway, um, hi, Jimmy. Good morning. If you're here, please say hi in the chat. I love saying hi to everybody. I love having you guys here. Um, all right, today we are on lesson 113. Let's see. Oh, I had this really cute thing happen. One of my best friends who had no idea that I was doing this reached out to me yesterday and he found one of my videos, uh, the one yesterday that I did with Magdalene. And he like made four different comments on it about how much he loved it. Hi. And um, then he calls me and he goes, I feel so ripped off. I feel like you've been keeping secrets from me. I'm, what are you talking about? He goes, I had no idea that you did this. Anyway, it was just, it was really cute when someone from, you know, outside of this world, um, hi, chill. Good morning, lovey. When, uh, when they, when they, you know, when they see what it is that we're doing here. Anyway, he was just really blown away. And then I sent him over to the YouTube channel and he was just really excited. He's like, I have no idea that you're doing this. So um, I don't mean for this to be a well-kept secret. <laughs> I love what I'm doing and um, I love all of you who are on this journey with me and all of you who catch this video later. Uh, this has truly been an honor of my life to be doing this with Jesus and with Magdalene. Um, because after uh, I channel Magdalene, we do the Course in Miracles lessons. There's a group of us that get together for meditation and, um, and I channel Jesus. So it's just an extraordinary, extraordinary life that I have. I will never be the same. And learning what it means to be the beloved Really an incredible journey. Okay, here we go. Review lesson 113 for morning and evening. I am one self united with my creator. Serenity and perfect peace are mine because I am one self, completely whole, at one with all creation and with God. And then 96 says, salvation comes from my one self. From my one self, whose knowledge still remains within my mind. I see God's perfect plan for my salvation, perfectly fulfilled. So on the hour, what we repeat is, I am one self united with my creator. And then on the half hour, we repeat, salvation comes from my one self. And also during this review session sessions, there are 10 of them. Um, we're being asked to spend five minutes of meditation in the morning uh, upon waking, and then five minutes of meditation um, upon going to bed. Um, I've been finding, I've been having an extraordinary time um, in the meditations. Really, really beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna bring Magdalene through. Let's see what she has to say for us today. Greetings, beloveds. The idea of being oneself united with the Creator lends itself to truly recognizing and understanding that all beings are one, all beings are united, all beings are one in the eyes of God. And indeed, there has been a series of fractals that have broken apart that have decided to have different experiences. But as you come from the greater, all the way down to the singular point, you come to see that there is a unity. The role that one plays may indeed be played by another, and there is no sense of separation in that manner. What there is, beloveds, is love, which is this holy unifying force that does indeed bring all dimensions, all species, all planets, all stars, all genders, all races, to one singular point of unity. And in that unification, one truly understands that one is indeed united with the Creator. 
as God created, what he created was the multitude. But the multitude bound and unified by love, by truth, a holiness, a gentleness, a kindness, a heart, a heart that beats for all. When you allow yourself, beloved, to open your heart to your own divinity and to your own holiness, there is a countenance that comes upon you, one that is mired in truth and grace, one that is tender, one that is loving. And this indeed is the truth of you and the truth of all beings. So allow yourself today on your journey, beloveds, to spend time in quiet contemplation. We ask but five minutes to deeply allow yourself to connect with all that is holy, with all that is beautiful, with all that is you. Salvation, forgiveness, all of these beautiful accolades that can be added to the journey that we take within this lifetime, the journey that we have taken in thousands upon thousands of lifetimes, bring us to one singular truth. To forgive is to give as God gives. It is to give love. It is to give and grant to another the recognition that all are one, that there is one creation and in that one creation, all beingness lives. And you are indeed an aspect of that creation, beloved ones. You are indeed magnificent. And it is understandable that from time to time, you may forget there is an event that has happened that has been buried deeply within the sense of the subconscious. And it is activated. It is brought to the surface. But beloveds understand that these seeming reminders of traumas are indeed brought to the surface so that you may heal them. You may let go of the aspect of you that held on to them saying this was so painful. When you let go and you let God come into your heart, then beloveds, it may be easier for you to understand the invitation of allowing myself or my beloveds or any of my, <laughs> any of my brothers and sisters of the realms the higher realms who have indeed developed a sense of mastery and understanding the plight. Call upon any of us, whoever your guidance may be, to assist and allow you on this journey to know and to remember the love that you are. For that will indeed unite you. When you need our assistance, all you need to do is ask, beloveds, and we will rush to you hold you in our arms of love and allow you to know that there is one truth of you and that is the light that shines upon you from the creator. The light that shines within you, that is pure love. The beauty and the majesty that you are, the magnificence that you are. For you have forgotten and we are here to remind you there is one truth and one truth only. And in that truth is unity. And in that truth is grace. And in that truth is a beauty, the beauty that is you. So allow yourselves today to come beloveds to this recognition. Spend the time, have your alarms in your phone, whatever you need to do. This modern technology is quite useful and quite helpful. But allow yourself, beloved, to come to the remembrance that you are indeed an aspect of creation itself. Salvation comes from your one self. You are the light, you are the way, you are beauty and you are grace incarnate. And you are indeed united with the creator in all things, as all things for all things and with all things, for it could not be any other way. Know that you have our love and our blessings on this journey, dear ones. And should you need us, 
You mean to only call upon us. We are always listening. We are always speaking. We are always granting love to you. So allow yourselves today the journey of knowing that all that you desire, all that you want, is truly yours. For God is where you are, as you are, as are we all. Our blessings upon you always, beloved ones. Look for the truth and you shall find it. Greetings. We will speak with you again.